You are already getting into the cookies. You want some cookies? Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a weekly grocery haul for my family of five. It's been a couple weeks since I've done a grocery haul and I wanted to do one. This haul is actually way less than the previous hauls I've done and I'm so happy about it. I was able to meal plan and get snacks and stuff for around the budget I like to stay at, which is like 150 a week. So the total for this week was 154 and I have five dinner meals planned out. We honestly repeat a lot of the same dinners. We just like love to eat a lot of <laughs> the same things, especially because I know that the kids will eat most of this stuff. So I have planned Asian turkey and rice, biscuits and gravy, this hamburger skillet that we tried from Aldi and it's actually so good with broccoli, salsa chicken and rice that's something i make in the instant pot with frozen chicken and then just like tacos also what's not on here is spaghetti i want to make some breakfast egg bites like the copycat starbucks ones i got ingredients for those these uh frozen like raspberry or strawberry whatever fruit yogurt chocolate covered bars i guess is what they're called i actually made some last night but I got more ingredients to make like different flavored ones and they are pretty good. It's just any type of yogurt, any type of fruit smashed or cut up, you freeze it and then you dip them in chocolate and you freeze it. So it's like a sweet kind of healthier treat. And I plan to make some chicken salad for myself. Nobody else eats chicken salad but me, but I did get ingredients to make that for easy, quick lunch and or dinner for myself throughout the week. Also, I will be sure to link as many as the recipes that I mentioned in this video that I can in the description box. I'm always so bad about that, but I will try my best. I have everything laid out. Like I said, it was $154. We actually needed a lot of like condiments and spices and stuff. We ran out of those. So first had to get my instant coffee. Needed some more olive oil mustard. This is my favorite salad dressing. It's so good. It is a dupe for like the Olive Garden one, but honestly, I think this one's a lot better. It's like really creamy Italian dressing, just like at Olive Garden, but honestly, it tastes better. It's so good. It's like only two bucks for that. We are all out of soy sauce. We need more of that. These are three spices that we were completely out of. Garlic powder, paprika, and onion powder. This jar of salsa is going to go in that salsa instant pot chicken that I mentioned. Same for this ranch pack. I know it sounds weird, like ranch mixed with salsa, but it's so good. All you do is the ranch pack, the whole jar of salsa, a little bit of water, some frozen chicken, and cook it in the Instant Pot for like 15 minutes. And you have this really good chicken that I shred up and we eat it with rice. This rice right here I like to use. It's this Spanish rice. This is also really good. We've been really liking this and these are so cheap as well. I also like to do it with yellow rice, but Aldi never has yellow rice. They only have this rice, so that's just what I got. There's some peaches. This is that hamburger skillet, it's like hamburger helper, which I never liked as a kid, but we tried this last week and it was so good. Like it actually has so much flavor. It's probably not the healthiest, but it's just a quick, easy dinner to make one night with some ground beef. So that's one of those dinners I mentioned. Jumbo biscuits for the biscuits and gravy, and then just some cinnamon rolls. I usually like to make these on the weekend. These look so good. I have a sweet tooth and I wanted to get a sweet treat. So I got these cookie dough. I think they're already probably in balls. You just put them on the pan to bake them. And then I got some more milk chocolate chips to do those like raspberry yogurt clusters. Like I mentioned, that's what I use to cover them. Or I will make like frozen chocolate covered strawberries. I just, I always have these in the house now because it's so cheap, it's so easy, and it's like such a good sweet treat. Some celery, this is for my chicken salad, and hopefully I can make like a soup or something if I could just like piece together a bunch of random crap because I know I have tons of carrots, I have chicken broth, I have onions, so I could probably make chicken noodle soup or something if I want to with the celery before it goes bad. These are some raspberries I was gonna mash up to make those yogurt bites. And these were super cheap. They were like a dollar for each pack. A bag of mandarins, a bunch of bananas, only two frozen things back here. We got some chicken fries 
and potato puffs. Now I will say, Gracelyn helped me do this grocery order. She was going through my phone and like helping me pick the things and for whatever reason, she kept double hitting it. Like she was like, oh, we need two of these. And I kept being like, no, we only need one pack. So I thought I went through and fixed everything that she clicked two for, but there are some things that we got double of that I definitely didn't want double of. But honestly, the things that did end up getting doubled is the stuff that the kids go through so fast. So I honestly don't really care too much, but we just got two packs of string cheese. We need some more butter. I usually get the unsalted, but they were sold out. So I just got the sweet cream butter this time. Some vanilla yogurt. This is the yogurt that I used to do those yogurt bites that I keep mentioning. Pork sausage, this is what I use to do the biscuits and gravy. And biscuits and gravy is so easy, you guys. It's literally just sausage, some seasonings, flour and milk. That's all you need. So easy and it's so good. This from Aldi is so good. It's this rotisserie style pulled chicken. It is really expensive. It's $8 for this, but it saves you the hassle of having to cook chicken and shred it, which honestly that's easy, but this is also really good. Like it has really good seasoning on it. So I'm going to use this to make that chicken salad. Two packs of ground beef for the tacos and that like hamburger skillet meal. These ground beefs have been so cheap at Aldi. I don't know why, but they have been like $3.50 for one pound, which is insane. So I'm getting two pounds of ground beef for like around seven bucks, which is so cheap, like so cheap. If you go anywhere else, a pound of ground beef is like $10. And this ground beef is such good quality. It's the 100% grass fed organic ground beef. I've mentioned it before and I've said how good this tastes compared to like regular ground beef. So I'm just really happy that they've been having that on a sale. This is the ground turkey for that Asian flavored turkey that I do with like um, coleslaw mix. So good, so cheap and so healthy. Ground turkey is a good inexpensive, healthier meat. This is only like three or four bucks for this. I've been really into salad and I need convenience. So I just got the garden salad bag. And then this is that coleslaw mix that I said that I mix together with the ground turkey. And I just do like soy sauce, poison sauce, rice vinegar, garlic, stuff like that. It's so easy to make and so quick. Some moo tubes for the girls. Got two juices, an orange juice and an apple juice. We did not need milk. Patrick did go to the store a couple days ago and got like some random things that we just were out of. So there are some things that are probably missing that I normally get, but it's because he had already gotten them. Fruit strips. We haven't had these in a while. We took a little fruit strip break. Also haven't had these in a while because the girls just like stopped wanting them. They weren't really eating them or they were wasting them. So I'm going to try again and see if they will eat these because those are a good little snack, you know, a good little healthy alternative for a snack. Some pretzel thins or slims, whatever. This apple oatmeal. That's the only oatmeal that <laughs> the girls will eat. And then Graceland did accidentally order two of these, but they go through these so fast. They've been loving these. Alphabet cookie packs, some of the cheddar turtles, some of the white cheddar crackers, just a bunch of different crackers. And then some of the sea salt organic popcorn that we usually get. That is it for this week's haul, but I'm so happy that I was able to get all this for around the budget, $154. I love Aldi. I just love Aldi so much. Like it makes grocery shopping so much better, so much less stressful, <laughs> way more affordable. I'm not gonna take you guys through my restock and cleaning today because I do need to like hurry up. We're gonna go to Cedar Point later. So I don't really have time to be like setting up the camera and trying to film things and like taking my time. I kind of have to rush and just like throw this all in. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you got some meal ideas, make your little grocery list for the week and head up your local Aldi if you have one. If you don't, I'm literally so sorry. I think that every town should have an Aldi. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.